The easiest way to explore the stars is to dive straight into the sun. Like anything else with gravity, the solar system itself has an escape velocity, and it depends on where you are. From the Earth's orbit, escape velocity is around 42 kilometers per second, but because the Earth is already moving at around 30 kilometers per second around the sun, we get that for free. So we basically need to leave Earth at around 12 kilometers per second to escape the solar system. The trouble is, that would mean we barely make it out of the solar system at all. If we wanted to make it out of the solar system at any reasonable speed, say 100 kilometers per second, we need to leave Earth much faster, around 78 kilometers per second. So we have to do a lot better than just pointing to the sky and firing the rockets. This is where a sun dive comes in. The idea is this. Kick out of Earth's orbit at 8 kilometers per second and go straight towards Jupiter. Grab a gravity assist to basically kill off all of your velocity so you fall straight towards the sun. Once you're near the sun, burn your rockets like hell to boost your speed by another 15 kilometers per second. And that'll send you rocketing out of the solar system at 100 kilometers per second. All at a cost saving of around 55 kilometers per second, which means a huge amount of fuel is saved. The natural question you should be asking is, how could losing energy in a gravity assist make us save a huge amount of fuel? It's counterintuitive, but it's called the Oberth effect. The Oberth effect is merely a consequence of the fact that kinetic energy goes with the square of velocity. Because a rocket's engine increases the speed of the rocket by the same amount regardless of how fast the rocket is already moving, you get the most bang for your buck by firing your rockets when you're already moving quickly. This might seem counterintuitive, but it works because the fuel is also moving very quickly and has a lot of kinetic energy when it's sitting in your rocket. And its kinetic energy decreases substantially when you fire it backwards. The faster you start out going, the more kinetic energy the fuel loses when it's fired out the back. The upshot of all of this is that because the sun is incredibly massive, the closer you can get to the sun, the faster you'll be orbiting. In the example I laid out earlier, you'll come within three solar radii of the sun and swing around at the enormous speed of 307 kilometers per second. Increasing that to 322 kilometers per second is enough to send you on your way. By the way, what I just described was a real plan for a proposed mission by NASA called the Realistic Interstellar Explorer. Unfortunately, we can't really do it with current tech because A, the sun is really hot, and B, the rocket would need to accumulate that 15 kilometers per second in about a 15 minute window, and that's not an easy feat to achieve.